Today on Follow That Psalm, we head to Rouge, Tomat, and Chelsea, where their wine list holds over 10,000 bottles. Master sommelier Pascaline Le Pelletier, known as the Queen of Chenin Blanc, helps us taste two of her favorite bottles from the Loire Valley in France. Hi everyone, we're here with Pascaline Le Pelletier here at Rouge Tomat. And get this, she's a master sommelier, master, and she is the 21st woman in the world to be a master sommelier. And we're here with her to learn about wine today. It's so exciting. She's the queen of Shannon, first of all. So I'm probably the biggest drinker of Shannon. <laughs> <for sure. laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> yeah, for no, very it's... novice sort of mm -hmm. beginners, if they can like kind of hang on to one thing, Shannon and... Chenin and greatest grape in the world. Oh, perfect. That's it. Uh, stop. That's it, we can stop from here. <laughs> and cut. <laughs> No, um, Chenin because it's um, the most, I think, the most versatile white grape variety you can encounter and um, in terms of style uh, and in terms of age worthiness and in terms of value. So wow. today, okay. I think it, for the wine world, it's awesome to have a, a grape that is still kind of under, under considered and have so much potential for today, for tomorrow, if you want to celebrate for any occasion and at fantastic value. So for the first one, uh, we, we are mentioning it, but think about the castle of the Loire Valley. You know, okay. it's this beautiful, massive white castle. Yes. Okay, this is a type of limestone. Uh, okay. This is a very type of sedimentary soil, and the first one is made on that type of, uh, of soil. Okay. Which of, one's the first one? So the first one is going to be guy. this one. Okay. So it's uh, clé de sol, yes. which is a music term uh, because uh, oh. the winemaker Damien, who is making the wine, happens to be a musician. And he plays a clarinet. Have you heard him play? Yeah. Ah! He's not only very cute, but he also is a great musician. <laughs> cute musician uh, and a winemaker. And married. Oh, uh, but, well. Yeah. <laughs> so first sniff. Okay, first sniff. And then, um, and then you admire. I guess, like, you admire it's pretty, it. Pretty, ah! It's pretty nice. So, <laughs> That's so good. It is pretty so nice. It's gold. It's slightly gold, but you can see that there is uh, on, on the side a little flex of green. A little green, yeah. Um, but having that gold color, can be linked to two things. Can okay. be linked to a, a, a color from the grape itself. Okay. So the, in that case, indeed, the grape was slightly golden. Mm. So when you press them, you extract that color. Okay. So you get that ear. So you already know that the grape may have a little bit of color. Okay. And then it's, it's barrel aging. Think about passion fruit. Think about slightly roasted pineapple. Uh, think about star fruit. Uh, the trick is don't smell like a crazy mad person. Okay. <laughs> just because you, you're going to burn your nose. So you're oh, going to wow. burn your, the little, um, the, the, I don't know how it's said in English, but you basically have some airs inside your nose. And if you smell too much, the alcohol is going to kind of mum them. Ah. So take, take some small sniff. Okay, small sniffs, not to yeah. burn your nose. Yeah, and don't over swell. Like once, okay. twice, and like, like if you do that, at the end, you won't be able to smell anything. Oh, you know, it, it's over swirl. Okay. Be good. It's so incredible. I don't even. There's no way to say it on camera. So you know what's striking is the length. I'm, I, we just swallow and I still can. Taste. I'm still tasting and it's developing. And it's the acidity is like keeping and keeping and keeping. Yeah. Yeah. And it's acidity is present, but it's not acidic or green or sour. Right. It's really that ripe acid. So ripe acid can be really strange for people, but think about when a raspberry is ripe. You know, it's still sour, but it's. It's ripe, the acidity uh, doesn't it's burn It's perfectly you. balanced, so it's sour perfectly. and sweet and all goes together yeah. beautifully. So this is what's happening here. This is a style of Chanel that's going to please people that likes uh, more subtle wine on the fresh, fresher side okay. with aromatics that are medium aromatics, you know. Got so it. Riesling drinker, Sauvignon Blanc drinker that are not too powerfully uh, exuberant. Chablis drinker on the riper side because okay. they can fall for this wine. All right, we're going to go to our second wine tasting. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, that is so, so interesting. I am like... It's quite different, no? It's earth or stone or... I don't... I can't, I can't place that. What is that? Here we are talking about earthy wine. We are talking about that one almost takes you to the, to the light and this yes. one takes you to the ground. Yes. Taste it. Okay, yeah. And think about white tea. Think about poo hair. Think about all this oh, texture. Do, do you taste that great oh, difference? Right, it's the tannins. The ta you get the tannin at the end? Is that what you're saying? That is, it's tannic. The first wine, it made me salivate forward. Mm -hmm. And this one mm -hmm. sucked and back and dried out. Yep. Is that right? Tannin and bitterness. So that wine is made in an area where the water can be a little bit tricky to be uh, retained by the plant. Okay. So what does it do? 
the plant to protect itself gets the grape with thicker skin. Ah. It's like us when we get tan with the sun. Oh, okay. So basically, the, the, the same grape here are going to have a very thick skin. Wow. And that thick skin is going to be pressed out and gives this tannin. In a way, a whole traditional pressing, the juice is in contact with that skin. It's like your water being in contact with your tea and you basically infuse it and you extract this tannin. And you get that very tannic quality, almost like a crab apple, yes. a small crab apple quality here. So it's very typical on Chanel and Slate. I, I think this one are stunning and they are very transparent to their place when I taste them. Um, and I think that fascinating with that grape to have very close same way of vinification, you know, uh, fantastic farming for both and such a drastic, so drastic, such a drastic expression based to where the grape is grown, you know. So this one's sort of way up high and fruity and this one's way on the ground, savory. And we've got acid, mm. tannin, fruit, yeah. earth. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Thanks so much to Pascaline Le Peltier for teaching us about Chenin Blanc. For more videos and articles on wine and food, head to wineforfood.com.